Zambia has a long way to go in terms of development. But then what we actually continue to see is the president engagement with, uh, you know, in, in, in the weekend political activities at State House. I'm wondering whether this actually is not distracting him in any way. And also in another context, how do you justify this in the context of uh, good governance and democracy? Thank you very much. The weekend's uh, meetings he has with uh, people from different parts of the country who come to call on him, use the opportunity to discuss um, the issues that affect them, um, cannot be seen as a distraction. However, um, we understand that people have their opinions on these issues, but as far as the president is concerned, he will welcome any group of people who want to call on him to be able to discuss issues that are of concern to them as citizens. As we all know, he's open up to people coming. It's just like uh, when people call on him during office hours. But because of the number of people who will want to come, it is just impossible to accommodate them in the official space that is available. Therefore, some of these uh, um, courtesy calls are arranged when they realize that communities want to come in like numbers at the State House. Well, my question is regarding the recent OCCRP report that was published that um, President Jami stole um, allegedly one billion US dollars from the Gambia. The Jami Commission, however, gave a different figure and it's difficult to reconcile the differences. However, civil society organizations have been pushing um, for the President to react to these allegations. Um, what is his position as far as this report is concerned? Uh, thank you for asking that. Actually, the President has been informed about the, um, actually it's a letter that was received and it, well, the letter was addressed to the President and uh, actually he has access to that letter. He has seen it and he has directed the um, Secretary General to follow up and get the source of that report so that they can look at it alongside with the Jane Commission report. Uh, directive, uh, as far as I know, up to yesterday, that directive has been given regarding that report because we, he received a letter from um, a group that is looking at crime and corruption. You said the president actually had a meeting, uh, interview with the GRTs, but then it, this has actually excluded other media outlets. Mm -hmm. And then this has not been the tradition. The tradition when the president came was that he has he has he had been having interviews with the larger media you know, outlets in the country. But then all of a sudden this has ceased. Mm -hmm. What actually led to this cease? Yeah. And then would we very soon see president facing the media again? Um, to answer the first part of your question, it happened at a time. If you look at the timing, it was yeah. very tight when we did that because we planned it to have our bias, the annual uh, program to meet the media. But unfortunately, it came at a time when there were a lot of activities. So the plan was, okay, just get engaged this one. And some of the media houses who have, we have even communicated to will have, uh, would have been able to witness that we even asked certain things that we were working on with them. But unfortunately, he had a big, uh, busy schedule which couldn't accommodate what we wanted to do. So far, that is what is holding us from doing what we really want to do.